Going to have some substitutions here. Mackenzie Herta comes in for San Marcos. Already a uh, little over four minutes pass in this game and not a timeout yet called. So it's just both coaches are happy with the way they're going. They're just letting them play it out. Yeah, this is the first game I can remember, Jeremy. I mean, I haven't done them all, uh, but the first one in this tournament where both teams just came out firing. And, I mean, it's like they've been playing all week long, which they have. Nice feed inside. Vermeer once again. Hello, you've got lots. Uh, you've got uh, uh, even Walker's got some height there. So nice pass down low. Tori in the white uniforms. Genevieve is going to pull it back out, flip it across court. Going to swing it over to Juarez. That ball was blocked by Lotz on the three-point attempt. Walker going to push it the other way. She brings it down the right side, flips in the middle. There's Lotz, little jumping floater, and the lead is 27 to 14. How do you stop that? In the game, yeah, her no. shot is long, but she comes off with her own rebound. Kicks it over in the corner to Vermeer. Vermeer drives down low to the opposite side. Great interior pass to Lotz. Tori Lotz puts it in, and her team's lead is now up to 21. Yeah, Vermeer. Yeah, no. It's going to be tough for the Lady Panthers to get points inside that three-point line because of the size of the Lady Lions down low. They just, uh, Lady Panthers are not able to match up with them for size down low. Genovese to Herta, but then Lotz anticipates the pass inside. We talked to them trying to get the ball inside, and they just blue ball that came up with it. She pushes it on ahead to Walker. Walker flips it back to blue ball. In the lane, Vermeer takes one dribble. <laughs> Went too far into the basket and was blocked by the bottom of the – the goal, and then it ends up in the hands of Tori Lotz. She's able to put it back Furthest in. this three-point line, and it makes right. you wonder if in their mind, mentally, that's they think that's the three-point line for them because they just see it on the court. Right, they see it's the last one. Nice pass again by Walker. She's piling up the assists, and Tori Lotz piling up the point. A lot of behind-the-scenes work for those guys doing the seating. Yeah, it is. Like the effort right there because um, easy to, to not be as intense, but Mackenzie Nelson not giving up anything easy as Vermeer was there. And then as soon as I say that, Tori Lotz. The Panthers couldn't see what number that was. I believe that was Genovese. She can't get it to go. Back the other way comes Lotz. Lotz draws the contact, puts it up. No foul called. Grabs his own rebound as her opponent falls to the floor and puts it back in. Tori Lotz with a nice little game. Flips it over to Lotz. Lotz, the jumper. It's good. Nice looking shot. Yeah, left. She feeds it inside. Basically a two, two-woman game here. And Lotz maybe going for a career high. She's just filling it up. She definitely is. She's uh, Vermeer taking a break. and uh, Say Before they even get their gold ball, run down and check on uh, Valen's way to make sure she's okay. Well, thanks for joining us. Coming up next, boys 18U action. Going to have Jeremy Caldwell and uh, Paul Gilmore calling that one. And I hope you stay tuned with us here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get uh, notifications on your favorite teams, and we'll be here all day long. Thanks for joining us. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll be back with more gold ball action on Golden Wednesday at the NCHBC.